Hello everyone, welcome to the virtual IT learning. In this video, we will learn how to use head, tail, sort and diff commands in Linux Unix environment for text processing, manipulate text information as well as handle the log files using head and tail utility. Following are the commands that we will discuss in this video. We will start with head utility. Head command displays the beginning of a file. By default, the head utility displays the first 10 lines of a file. The general syntax is head option are arguments and with a file name. Arguments are not mandatory. You can run the command with or without the options or arguments. For example, to display the first 10 lines of a file, we can use the command. So this command will display the first 10 lines of imply CSV file. Since imply CSV file doesn't have more than 10 lines, so it will display the whole file. We can see the line numbers. So this file has only seven lines in it. But in case if you have a larger file that has more than 10 lines, so you can use head command, which will display only the first 10 lines of that file. Let's see another example. Let's display this file, which is a large file. Now using the head command, this command will display only the first 10 lines of messages file. As we just discussed, by default, the head command will display the first 10 lines of a file. But we can also pass on the number of lines as a parameter to display from top of the file. For example, to display only first three lines of a file, we can use hyphen three file name so this will display only first three lines from the top of the file. Head minus three command is useful when you have larger file that contains header of the files, like say for example flat or CSV or pipe files, where you have the header of the file and you wanna display only the header. So you can use head hyphen three and file name that will display only the header of the file. If you wanna display the file name, you can use hyphen V, which stands for verbus. So V option will display the file name on the top. We can also use head with other commands like cat command and add head with a pipe symbol to redirect the output of cat to head command as an input. Say for example, we wanna pass on the output of cat command as an input to the head command to display only the first 10 lines of the file that we can use using a pipe symbol which will redirect the output of one command as an input to the other command so we can see the cat command is passing the output to the head command as an input using the pipe symbol another example is to display only the most recent updated 10 files. So if we add head at the end of ls command, it will display only the last 10 files which were most recently updated. Next we will discuss the tail command. The tail utility is similar to head utility but by default it displays the last 10 lines of a file. This utility can also display fewer and more than 10 lines. You can also monitor lines as they are added to the end of the growing file or being updated of a log file. This is a very helpful utility if you want to monitor logs as they are being updated or to monitor a process which is generating logs in the backend. And you want to monitor the logs or progress of a process. General syntax is tail, option, and file name. For example, this command will display the last 10 lines of messages file. So we can see this command displayed only the last 10 lines of messages file. To view the logs while they are being updated, we can use hyphen F parameter. Say for example, messages file is a log file and it is getting updated and we wanna see the progress as the logs are updated. So we will use hyphen F parameter since this file is not getting updated, so it is not showing any progress. To see an example of a file while it's being updated, we have an example of a counter. 
This is a sample counter script which adds up a number with an interval of one second. So let's see how it works. So we're going to run this script and then we will send the output to a temp file. And we will monitor this temp file in another session. Now we can see this file displays the progress as it is getting updated. So as mentioned before, it by default, it will display only the last 10 files. But if you want to add the number of lines to display, we can use n parameter hyphen the number of lines to display. So in this case, it will display the last 100 lines while they are being updated. Next topic is to discuss the sort utility. The sort utility displays the contents of a file in an order by lines without changing the original file. The sort utility is useful in putting the list in order. You can use various parameters to manipulate the output of sort command. For example, the n option puts a list of numbers in numerical order. The u option generates a sorted list in which each line is unique. The output is sorted based on two ways. Numeric lines are arranged in ascending order 1 to 10. Letters are sorted in ascending alphabetical order like A to Z. You can also redirect the output of sort command to write unsorted input data to a file directly in sorted manner using greater than sign. Here's how this can be done. Let's get the imply CSV file and now let's sort this file which will be sorted based on the imply number. Now if you want to redirect the result of sort command to another file, you can use greater than sign like E, C, S, P. There will be no change in the original file. But if you see the E, C, S, P, it will contain the sorted results. You can also use the cat command with the sort command. Like say for example, now you can add the pipe symbol and add the sort command. The result set will be exactly same as we just saw before using sort command. Now let's see how we can display specific fields or columns. So to display second, third and fourth columns or fields, we can use cut command. Add a pipe symbol, cut hyphen D. D is to pass the delimiter, which is comma in this case. Now put the field numbers hyphen F second third and fourth field this is the original result set now let's use this command with the sort command see the output the result is sorted based on the imply name now if you want to display the result set based on uh, third and fourth fields we can see um, the title is in ascending order like A to Z if you want to remove the duplicates from the result set, as we discussed before, you can use hyphen u, our unique keyword. So say for example, we want to remove the duplicates from this result set. We can use hyphen u at the end with sort command, which will remove the duplicates, or we can use unique after using the pipe. So the result set will be same. There are a few parameters that you can use with the sort command, like n parameter is to sort a file numerically. R option is to sort in reverse order, and K option is used to sort on the basis of any column number. By default, sort compares the entire line's contents and decides how to sort it. Using K option, you can apply sort on a certain column. Please note that uh, by default, sort separates fields in a line using white spaces, also called spaces or tabs, as field delimiters. Sort cannot handle the situation where fields contain the separator like comma in this case. However, if we have the file without any separator, then we can use the K option like this. 
this file doesn't have a parameter unlike in PyCSV which had comma uh, as a delimiter. So let's see how it sorts the results. So we want to sort the result based on the entire name, the second field. Add sort hyphen k and put that field number here. Now we see the result set is sorted based on the imply name. Now let's go back to the imply file, which has comma as a field separator. You can still manage to sort a file with a field separator using the command like this, add field separator. which is comma in this case. Now we can see we can still manage to sort the result using the keyword field separator uh, based on specific field of a file which has a specific delimiter. Please note this is an old fashioned and may not work in newer systems. Alternatively, you can use T parameter to change the field delimiter to a different character. For example, to change the delimiter to a comma and sort the file based on second field we can use hyphen t the result set will be same so the t parameter is equal to the field separator as previously mentioned the field separator keyword may not work in the newer systems so alternatively you can use hyphen t option this can be used in both ways like this way the result would be same let's put the third field now we can see the result got sorted based on the third field throughout these examples we have been using the pipe symbol so please note pipe symbol is to communicate between processes in Linux Unix operating systems, a pipe is a technique for passing information from one program or process to another. The output or result of the first command sequence is used as an input to the second command sequence. With pipes, the standard output of one command is fed into the standard input of another. As an example, the output of the ls command is fed into more. By using this mode trick, you can make any command have scrolling output. For example, if we do the lsl, we have a big list of output. If you want to just add more using the pipe symbol, where you will have the output of ls command as an input to the other command, which is more in this case. So the result set will be displayed one screen at a time. Press space bar to scroll to the next screen. Other examples of commands used together with pipes are like, for example, say we can use head command where we will have only first 10 lines of the output of ls command. There are other examples like, say, for example, we want to see the disk usage of this current directory. Now we can add sort command using the pipe symbol. Let's add hyphen n parameter to display the list of directories and how much space they are consuming and to sort from smallest to largest. Okay, we can add more here. Now we can see we have restricted the output to one screen using more parameter and then we are displaying the result set based on smallest to largest file. Let's add our parameter here, which will display the list of files and directories from largest to smallest. Now we can see the result set contains the directories with their consumption from largest to smallest. You can insert a pipe character between any two commands if the first command writes the output to the standard output and the second command reads the input from the standard input. For example, to return the users currently logged into your Linux or Unix operating system, 
You can use who command that returns the standard output that can be passed on to the WCO as the standard input. Let's see how do we use this. So this is an example of command that tells you uh, the users currently logged into your system. Let's add WC command, which stands for word count. WC stands for word count in Linux Unix. It is mainly used for file or record counting purpose. Let's see another example. So by default, WC command calculates a file's word line character uh, byte count and displays the result in four columnar output. First column shows number of lines present in a file that we can see in here. Second column shows number of words in the file. Third column shows number of characters in the file. And fourth column is the file name, which is given as an argument. You can use the hyphen L parameter with WC command. This option prints the number of lines present in a file. With this option, WC command displays two column output. First column shows number of lines present in a file and second column represents the file name. Next is the diff utility. The diff stands for difference utility, compares two files line by line and displays a list of differences between them. This utility doesn't change either file it is useful when you want to compare two versions of files or two versions of source code in a program. The general syntax is diff file 1 and file 2. Let's see how it works. So let's first see the file's contents. We can see there are some differences like on line number 3 we have a different imply name in here in this file like here and we have one additional record in the second file let's see how diff command displays all these differences now we can see the output of diff command ind is indicating some numbers and special characters here so diff command uses certain special symbols and instructions that are required to make two files identical these symbols are A for add, C for change, and D for delete. In this example, 3C3 means line 3 in the first file needs to be changed to match the line 3 in the second file. The last entry here, 7A8, means after line 7 in the first file, a line needs to be added, which is line 8 from the second file. Five. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching this video.